Yo, let's eat 60 donuts. Said no one ever. It'd be a great idea. And if they ever said that, it's not a great idea. I can tell this is going to be a horrible idea, and I wish I would have felt like that before I bought all these donuts. But anyway, here we are, everybody. We're going to eat 60 donuts as fast as we can. So to make things more interesting, I think we should make like a little thing out of it. So if I can't eat these 60 donuts, and I don't, I, don't, I don't really know how long, but just in a satisfactory time, then I think we need to add another dynamic to this food challenge. I think I should eat a massive bowl of cereal, but not only just a massive bowl of cereal, I think it should be punishment bowl of cereal. That is cereal with water. That's right. So if I can't eat these donuts in a satisfactory amount of time, we're gonna have to go in and eat a massive, absolutely gigantic bowl of cereal with water. <sighs> I think this is gonna be horrible. Let's tune in. Welcome to Being at Home. Let's eat some food. Welcome to Being at Home, part one. This is absolutely stupid. A two part series. So people always ask me, they're like, yo, Joel, weigh yourself before you do a challenge. So I'm gonna weigh myself and uh, then we'll get to it. So here we are. Your scale, so the scale is a little off. So it's weighing about like eight to 10 pounds heavy, but it's like consistent. So pop on. So it's saying I am about 200, which with my clothes on would be about 190. To hold it, which is absolutely accurate. So there you go. We're according to this scale, 190 pounds to start. We'll see what we are after. Total calories for this, 10,800. 10,800 calories, all right here. So we have six, 12, 18, 24, uh, 36, 48, 60. So as fast as we can, I have not done any speed eating in way too long. Uh, this is going to be probably horrible. I'm sure I'll be very disappointed in my time. I do have about a gallon of water. I'll probably spill some water all over the place and all that stuff, but whatever. So yeah, guys, here we go, 60 donuts. I'm, uh, I don't know what to think. They do smell very good though. I just can't, I don't think they're going to taste that good. So look, it started here when it gets to 30. So, seven, six. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So for something a little different, this is a two-part series. So this week you're gonna get four videos instead of my usual three. These are gonna be uploaded back to back. So today, April 13th, you get this beauty of a video, me eating 60 donuts, and then tomorrow on April 14th, you will get a second part. So here we are eating 60 donuts. Um, basically, I just wanted to try eating something fast. It was a long time since I've tried to actually eat anything fast, so I figured what a great, better item to do it than donuts. Additionally, of course, we're all in lockdown, everything's in quarantine, so I'm at home. I decided to do a home challenge as per your guys' request. I do listen uh, to what you guys request, what you hear, so hence we kind of got some trick cereal, um, some cereals in that regard. So we'll have to see what other kind of home videos that have come your way. But at that, I'll let you get the rest of this video and uh, let's see what goes on and happens.
So at this point, the only thing that's really going through my head besides, like, eat, Joel, eat, is I'm starting to realize I'm going to run out of water. Um, I basically took two of my three cups to get through uh, just under 40 donuts, so I was... I, and usually you need more liquid um, as you eat more, if that makes sense. you got to use more liquid to get it down. So I, at this point, I had to kind of start conserving liquid, um, which, I mean, well, it was just something that had to happen without me taking the time to actually pour water into the cups. I try to prep for it. I didn't today. I'm not giving excuses. I suck. I'm not happy with that. I'm just being honest. So no for next time. Definitely prep. I if it like in a contest, I would have switched to a different flavor um, earlier than like. I mean, you saw I had like 300 milliliters of Coke. Pepsi Zero to be specific. I would switch to that earlier. That would help a little bit. Really started to slow down at the end there. And then when I started to slow down, started to overstuff. Trying to limit my water a little bit, it's only at three quart. So again, in contest, I would have been a little less conservative with the water, it might have helped just a little bit. But I mean, we're not talking much. We're talking just like little, little things. Uh, honestly, the donuts were not that bad. I thought they were gonna be way worse tasting. They weren't that horrible. They're okay. Um, so yeah, anyway, and then, and then the burps, those burps, man, I feel like, I'm starting to be like, okay, this is feeling a little heavy, but now after burping, I feel really, like, I feel way better. So, let's go, uh, we'll go weigh ourselves. In all reality, those, those donuts should have taken me, like, I don't know. Minute and a half, two minutes left. Damn, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not not out of sight of that. But anyway, we'll go weigh ourselves. And like I said, if we weren't satisfactory, which we weren't, guess we're gonna have to freaking eat some dang cereal and water. My left hand is totally clean. My right hand is not clean. Look, I have like frosting on my nose. They were glazed donuts. All right. Uh, so. Same thing, the only thing that's changed is 
I now have donuts and water in me. So, I'm trying to get my kitchen covered and stuff. So now I am 210, so 10 pounds heavier, which is right, which sounds about right. However much liquid and however much liquid and uh, it's about six and a half, seven pounds of donuts. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll make my big gross bowl of cereal and we'll eat it outside. It is a beautiful day out. Well, let me rephrase that. It's not bad. It's a lot better than it has been. Hashtag Canada. All right, I'll show you what's going in this great big bowl of cereal. Okay, here we go. Let me rinse my hands off. There we go. A little less, a little less sticky. Very glazy. size bowl and uh, so today for cereals I just went to the store I picked up what was on sale <clears throat> the other day on the live stream somebody told me he said hey eat tricks so I got some tricks got a box of tricks just like a normal size box um, and then which are now back they actually were in Canada like when I was a child and then they left. Uh, like they got rid of them and they only recently brought them back probably the last year or so. And then we have a family sized box of honeycombs. So together, cluster in uh, probably a gallon of freaking water. So that would be uh, 11 pounds. So 11 pound cereal bowl. Anyway, so honeycombs, Twix, this is gonna suck. I'm not really feeling the sweet things already, and this is ridiculous. Damn, what did I promise you guys? All right, so, anyway, here we go. Jeez, Louise, that's a that's like a thick. It's very thick. That's a big bag. Fun fact: the nutrition information on Twix and honeycombs is the exact same. So I would have thought there would have been a little less sugar. Maybe the honeycombs are a little less, a little healthier, but they're not. If you're not familiar with honeycombs, they're like a very crispy corn base, flour that, or like cereal that's bland. Tasting, and um, kind of tastes like honey. You guys probably hear my music, I don't even know what's playing, but. Holy jump bits. Okay, I was not expecting it to fill the bowl. I don't know. I actually don't know if we're going to be able to finish this. This is just stupid. I probably should have had the Twix afterward. Those are stronger tasting than the honeycombs. Oh well, okay. Here we go, y'all. Gigantic bowl of cereal.